Hello everyone, welcome back to Belgrades. Today we are going to read a very famous moral story The Elephant and the Tailor. So, shall we move on to the story? This is the story of a tailor and a elephant and their friendship. Once there lived a tailor in a very old village. In the same village also lived an elephant of the temple. Every day the temple elephant will go to a pond to take a bath. On the way he used to meet the elephant always used to meet a tailor while going for the bath in the pond. Daily the elephant passed by the tailor shop. One day, tailor gave bananas to the elephant. Yummy bananas. All the elephants love bananas, right? So, just like that, the elephant was very happy at by eating the bananas. Now, this become a habit. The elephant stopped at the tailor shop daily and the tailor gave it something to eat every day. So, their friendship grew up. Also, once after taking the bath, in return as a gift, the elephant used to pluck a lotus from the pond and keep it in front of the tailor shop while coming, ba- while coming back from the bath. So, the tailor was also very happy. They became very close friends. People of the villages were amazed at seeing the friendship between the tailor and the elephant and the elephant everyone was really shocked because the elephant loved the tailor very much but after few months passed due to the workload the stress the tailor gained stress so he was very busy stitching the dresses One day, the tailor was very busy and he didn't even notice the elephant was passing by. He had forgotten to bring bananas for the elephant. The elephant put his trunk inside the shop as usual. The elephant trumpeted, trying to get attention of the tailor. And the elephant started to demand his daily fruits to eat, thinking that he is having the fruits with him. The tailor signaled to the elephant, No, there is nothing with me. Just go back. Okay. But the elephant would not understand. It put his trunk forward again and again. The tailor got irritated because he tried to signal the elephant that there is nothing with him and he is very much busy with the work. But the elephant didn't understand. So the tailor got angry and he pricked a needle in the trunk of the elephant. The elephant felt very sad and it started crying and just left from there. After taking a bath on the pond, suddenly the elephant remembered about the bad behavior of the tailor. And he felt the pain in his trunk. That day, instead of plugging the lotus for the tailor, It filled its trunk with dirty, muddy water from the pond. The angry elephant, while going back to the temple, just stopped at the tailor shop. But the tailor ignored him. He thought the elephant is coming with the lotus as usual. He just ignored because of his work. But suddenly what happened? The elephant sprayed the dirty water into the tailor shop. Splash! And... He went away angrily. The tailor was in real shock. All the clothes of the tailor got dirty. And he was in real shock of what happened at that time. He sat sad and started to think about his bad behavior. He was repenting on his bad behavior. Taylor repented for his mistake of pricking the needle in elephant's trunk. Everyone who was standing near to the shop 
got shocked because of the elephant's behavior and they all started blaming the tailor for his misconduct as he pricked the elephant with the needle he got drenched in the dirty water and he lost everything next day tailor tried to give a bunch of bananas to the elephant but it didn't accept it just pass away without even looking at the elephant he just ignored the elephant then the tailor felt it very sad because he lost his really good friend because of one misconduct he felt really sad but the elephant didn't even look at him so friends what is the moral of the story a single even one bad behavior can turn friends into foes okay so be careful and be good at your behavior even a single thing can hurt others badly even a single misbehavior may make you lose your dearest friends so that's all for the story so be always helpful to your friends and truthful so that's all for this short story i hope everyone enjoyed it thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment see you again next time with another beautiful video bye bye have a nice time